David Diamond is my guest, a political science professor at Carleton University. He joins us from Ottawa, the author of this book as well, Doing the Continental, a new Canadian-American relationship. Thanks for being on the program, David. Hi, Todd. We were talking about what might be on the top of the agenda here. Of course, we've got to mention the Paris attacks here and the larger issues for these countries that all border the Pacific. What are you expecting to see? Well, uh, in uh, Trudeau's meeting with Obama, they're going to move towards uh, more North American issues. Uh, there's a lot of things to, to deal with, but clearly looking at the news today in the last few days, uh, the security issue is a big one, and um, are we going to keep uh, the six uh, F-18s in theater? I think it's going to be hard for Trudeau to uh, to hold off, uh, um, you know, have, bring them back sooner than, than uh then March when they're they're meant to be uh, uh, stationed until that time, you know. Uh, I'm curious about that. Let's dig a little deeper on the CF-18 issue and whether you think that might start things off on a bad foot between Justin Trudeau and Barack Obama. Well, you know, um, it, a bad foot. Um, Trudeau's got to be mindful of the issues here in Canada. He's, uh, they have these uh, minister's mandate letters, and it says very clearly to the uh, new minister of defense that, that part of his mandate is to bring those fighter jets home and, uh, and also to do more training on the ground, which ironically would be more dangerous uh, for the soldiers uh, in theater. Um, I don't know how, given the pressure and the people I've talked to, uh, saying, gosh, in this situation, uh, just the symbolism of leaving those planes there until March when, when, when the renewal period comes up. Uh, but, but I suspect Obama will, will give Trudeau some, uh, you know, maneuvering room and, and if, if he feels that, that, that the new prime minister needs to be uh, living up to, to his mandate from the people um, and uh, sending trainers, then, then he'll be sympathetic to that. Security, terrorism and ISIS aside, David, uh, at the heart traditionally of APEC summits, of course, is trade between all of these countries. In regard to that, what do you think these two leaders are going to be looking for from one another? Well, I mean, this is a big chance for uh, the two leaders to continue to get to know each other and to start talking about managing North America. Um, that may seem boring for Obama, big global issues to deal with, but we in Canada have been waiting quite a while now to, to put a, a new foot forward, um, to, to have um, a, a left of center prime minister engage a left of center uh, president and uh, start thinking about the North American Leaders Summit, which Canada is hosting in the spring, uh, and the kinds of things we can start put, putting into place and, and uh, the things we can do to deal with border management and uh, harmonizing regulations. And some of those things have really started to slow down under the, the end of the, uh, the last um, uh, years with Harbor. David, great to get you on. Thanks so much for taking time for CTV today. It's a pleasure. Thank you. All right.